Welcome to the pew. Welcome to the pew. Doodly doodly do. Coogly coo. Pew. We are, we are going to take a moment to be serious. And we yeah well okay. And we are going to discuss a scholarly article. Very scholarly. Yeah yeah. yeah. That reveals breaking news about a special K. And how it prevents. And this is from Scientific suicide. American. This is from Scientific American. So this is so not you know some like making it up. Yeah, this is not some like National Enquirer. You know, this is like here. Here it is. Very Scientific Google American. Magazine. It's like you know. It's like oh my god. It's like it's like they're so serious. Yeah, like so serious. And like like especially K can like if you're gonna like, like commit suicide and stuff. It's like it'll make you not want to do it. <laughs> right, because you'll fall so deep into a K hole. You, you won't have the energy or desire to actually slit your wrist. Researchers hope to eludicate, elucidate <laughs> the brain. Okay, well, okay. Here it is. Right here, the article. Okay, I can't read that. Yeah, right there. Hold on. The words are too small. Words are too small? Yeah. Well, okay, here it says. Um, I have my own theories why uh, people don't want to commit suicide when they're on It says, K. fewer than 10% of people with depression attempt suicide, and about 10% of those who kill themselves were never diagnosed with any mental health uh, condition. Now, a study is trying to determine what happens in the brain when a person attempts suicide, and that sets such people apart. The project will recruit 50 people who have attempted suicide in the past two weeks before enrolling in the study. And um, so, what, what's the part about Special K? I want to know okay, about Special K. Okay, uh, the the team will be will be given ketamine, a psychoactive part quote party drug that has recently to a group group of people that has recently attempted suicide. Ketamine, which is sometimes used to treat depression, can quickly arrest suicidal thoughts and behavior, even in cases when it does not affect other symptoms of depression. The effect is known to last for about a week. Now, I can understand how it can uh, it can quote unquote eradicate um, uh, thoughts of suicide because you don't think about anything you're in a k-hole for, car for crying out loud you can't think of cr killing yourself when you're in a k-hole you can't move you can't pick up the knife or whatever or whatever or jump in front of the train well, you says, can't even get up, says, much less jump. Such findings suggest that ketamine affects the brain circuits that are specific to suicidal thinking um, you know more cutting edge research on the valuable effects. More ketamine, cutting edge, or more ketamine, ketamine edge, <laughs> or ketamine edge, <laughs> something. Like that. How can we have that look on your face? <laughs> Science, isn't it interesting? I mean, <laughs> makes me want to go not commit suicide. No, but but seriously, when when you do, I mean, I can I can I can understand that because ketamine takes you to a place. Where it's disassociated. A so special happy place. Yeah, so you're out of your body and you're not, you know, thinking of suicide. Because you, you're not thinking. That's right. So. We'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the pew. Welcome back to the pew where we just where we just one did last word yeah, about we just special K some, we did and some, its valuable effects. Yeah, we just did some more research <laughs> on that other drug, and um, <laughs> and have it says here that um that the ketamine uh, affects the serotonin levels, which would uh, you know affect your depression, your level of depression, and and get you out of that you know I want to kill myself mode. You know, that's right. So do a bump of K. Um, can and you can you imagine for, a doctor a doctor prescribing you know do two bumps and call me in the morning? That's my kind of doctor. That's the yeah. That's the doctor of the future. Bitches want to know which which I want to say is not my doctor. My doctor does not prescribe such things. Nor mine. Nor Ernie's. But this is this is a theoretical. The special doctor. Theoretical doctor. My dad. Special, er, Ernie, Igor's doctor. Special doctor. Special doctor. Doctor K. Doctor K. <laughs> <laughs> Right. They just want to know. They just want to know. What do they want to know now? Build a vicious at once. Build a vicious. Build a vicious. Build a vicious. She wants to know <laughs> if you have ever considered being in a relationship with Kiyoki again. Again? Yeah. Do I have to do it again? <laughs> I mean, uh, I n n have I considered it? N n not really. I mean, Kiyoki and I are in different places right now. Um, way different. Way different. He's in love with you. He's in love with me, says the peanut gallery. He's in love with himself. 
Keoki says, Igor says, who's actually David, says, um, Keoki's in love with himself. Glad you're watching, That's an interesting, an interesting concept. I've never thought of that. Um, but um, right. Never thought he loved himself. Never thought he loved himself. But, um, but now that I think about it, um, yeah, we're, not, we're just we're in two different places. And um, we're not... Um, but I love Keoki dear, dearly. And um, he will always be a part of my life. He's family, you know? So, and you know what? To sleep with him now would be like incest. Yeah, and you know, a lot, people, a lot of people, a lot of people who are watching... That's disgusting. You're disgusting to think that I would be involved in an incestual relationship. A lot of people who saw our Coney Island episodes uh, from last week, they thought that Kiyoki was really rude, but I just thought he was being his natural kind of slightly grumpy self because he was up till 7 o'clock in the morning DJing. But wait a minute, why was he rude? I I didn't think he was rude. I think he was was just being himself. He was just perceived to be rude by the pewers. Yeah. Mm. (laughs) That's just the way he is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't think he was rude. Nope. Nope, not rude. See you next time. Bye.